Hey there, friends. We're together today for about 25 minutes of practice based around the neck. And this is an area where many of us hold so much tension and gripping. And we'll focus today on creating a feeling of release and freedom in the neck. So start by feeling your neck in space. And this includes the throat, the jaw, and in particular, where your cervical vertebra connect to your skull bones in the back. Take a deep inhale and wash the breath through the throat, through the neck, even through the jaw, and take a sigh out your mouth. Once more like that, deep breath into the throat, and exhale to sigh. Now come on forward into tabletop position, moving into some cat and cow. On your next inhale, arch the spine and reach through the throat, reach through the crown. Exhale, round the spine, press into the hands, and let the weight of the head release. Keep moving like this, inhaling to arch and exhaling to round. And maybe play with allowing the movement to initiate from the throat, so you're really moving from that centered focus. I like to even, on the inhale, reach the jaw a little forward. And then on the exhale, really allow the weight of the head to relax the muscles around the neck. Take yourself through one more cycle, full inhaling, arching the spine. And then land yourself back into downward dog as you're ready, tuck toes, lift hips. Take a moment in down dog, feel that the neck is lengthening away from the rest of the spine as you press into the floor. And then inhale, lift your heels up really, really high. Stay there, push your hands down and forward. And then as you exhale, release the heels back down. Then next time you inhale, bend your knees, hover your shins parallel to the floor. And again, keep the shape and push your hands down and forward so your spine is long. And then next exhale, extend the legs back into downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forward into plank, pause. Again, feel that your spine is part of the whole neck included, all the way to pelvis, and then exhale lower to the belly. Untuck the toes, tuck tailbone, breathe in, and as you exhale, root the pubic bone to lift the chest and maybe hover the hands into a low or baby cobra. Reach through the crown of your head like it's lightly pressing against something. And then next, exhale, release, and press back, downward facing dog. You can always move through child's pose as an option as you make your way there. Landing in downward dog, look forward on your breath in, exhale to step or float feet to the top of the mat. Flat back as you inhale, extend the neck. As you fold, relax your teeth, relax the crown of your head. Rise all the way up to stand, inhale, reach up, and exhale, meet the hands together at the heart. Take a full breath in and out here, softening shoulders away from ears, neck long. Then chair pose, bend the knees, inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward bend again, relax the neck, relax the teeth. Halfway lift as you inhale. And as you exhale, step or float back, chaturanga or to the belly. Backward bending, inhale, extend through the throat, extend through the crown of the head. And then press back, exhale, downward dog. Bring your feet to touch, and then the next time you inhale, float your right leg up and back, three-legged dog. Reach long through the leg, inhale. And then as you exhale, curl the knee in and step the foot between your hands into warrior two. Pin the back heel down and rise up for warrior two. Exhale, place your right forearm down onto your right thigh. The back arm reaches down the back leg. Prana mudra, inhale, reach your arm over your ear, bend the elbow, exhale, open the chest. Inhale, sweep the arm over the ear. Exhale, bend the elbow, squeeze top, middle, bottom tip of shoulder blade. Inhale, reach long, lengthen. Exhale, bend the elbow, open the heart. Inhale, arm over ear. Stay there this time. Feel the neck as an extension of the spine, as an extension of the back leg. And then exhale, cartwheel your hands down, runner's lunge. Pivot the back heel up and twist. Left palm flattens, right arm rises up to the sky. You have the option here to bring your gaze up or down or straight neutral. 
Make that choice based on how your throat feels and then take a deep breath around your neck. Exhale, relax your top teeth away from your bottom teeth. Look down. Exhale, take both hands down to the mat and then move into Skandasana over the back leg. A little funky half squat. Go to the second side. Inhale, Skandasana over the right leg. And then we're moving into Warrior Two, facing over the left foot. So use your hands for support. Reset the feet into Warrior Two and inhale to cartwheel open. So Warrior Two over the left leg. I'm going to take a moment, just check, get aligned, and then reverse your warrior. Inhale, reach the left arm up and over, and you can stay there. Or to go a little deeper into the throat, neck release. Hover left palm about 12 inches over the left thigh. Now start to wash the breath up and around the left collarbone, left side of throat. Every exhale, relax the inner ear, relax the teeth in their sockets. You might even turn your chin or slide your jaw slightly to deepen access into releasing the neck. Next inhale, sweep your arm back over your ear. Exhale, rise up into warrior two. Inhale, straighten the front leg for triangle. Heel toe the back foot in as needed. Inhale, reach forward and then exhale, land. Now take the arms really wide, spreading across the collarbone, spreading across the shoulder blades. And again, pick the placement of your gaze based on what feels most spacious in your neck. Take a full inhale, breathe up beyond your collarbones into your throat. And then as you exhale, look down, cartwheel your hands down. Again, into a runner's lunge, then step into plank, inhale. Take a vinyasa, exhale lower half or all the way, backward bending from the neck, inhale, lengthen, and then exhale, press back, downward dog. And feel for just a moment, deep, full breaths. Feel free to add a sigh at any point if you'd like. And then next time you inhale, go ahead and float your right leg up and back again. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step through, high lunge. Sweep both arms up, inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, full prana mudra, bend the elbows, open the chest. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lengthen your spine as you open the heart. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, squeeze shoulders, shoulder blades, then elbows into the midline. Then this time, interlace the hands behind the back, extend the arms, and squeeze the shoulder blades together. You can stay in stillness here, play into the neck, by inhaling, turning gaze right, exhale to center. Inhale, turn gaze left, exhale to center. Maybe once more, twice more on each side, just sort of sussing out how each side of your neck feels, the comfortable range of movement there. And then come on back to center. Release the arms, inhale, high lunge, arms sweep up to the sky. Exhale, bring hands to heart, steady your gaze, and step up to standing balance, pulling your left knee into your chest. Twisting. As you exhale, take your right hand across your outer left leg and rotate open. You can always take the outer foot or outer knee for Parvrita Hasta. And then again, choose this time the placement of your neck, maybe starting to spin the gaze lightly towards that opposite thumb. Inhale, stretch from your chest all the way through the back hand. Exhale, come back to center, hands to heart. Step back into high lunge, light touch. Inhale, arms rise up. Pivot open, warrior two, exhale. Inhale, take your arms to the ceiling, straighten your front leg. Exhale, move your hands to your heart and then turn your feet to parallel. Take the hands to the waist and then move into horse stance. Turn your heels in and your toes out, knees and toes pointing the same direction for hand passes. Inhale, pull your palms up. And then exhale, push against the ceiling, spread the hand bones. Inhale, sweep the arms out to the sides through center. And then exhale, press left to right. Inhale, arms sweep up to the sky, bring them through to the heart. And then exhale, push straight forwards. Inhale, bring the hands through to heart center. And then exhale, press down to the mat. Inhale, straight arms, straight legs, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands through heart, parallel your feet. Hands to the waist, lift your chest, and exhale, bow forwards. Hands can come down to the mat for Prasarita A. 
Inhale into your lower back. Exhale, relax your lumbar vertebra. Inhale deeply into your middle back with a sigh out your mouth. Exhale, relax your middle back vertebra. And take one more inhale into the back of your neck and your throat. And exhale to sigh. Next inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, walk towards the left foot. Runner's lunge into standing splits. Inhale, walk yourself up and pop up. The right leg lifts, left leg is straight, hands to the floor. Push into the floor with the hands and the feet lightly. And then again, bring your attention to your throat. Drag your shoulder blades away from your ears. Relax the neck. Take a deep inhale, maybe a sigh or a flutter of your lips. Inhale, look forward, flat back. Exhale, step back into a runner's lunge, and then lightly set your back knee down. Feel free to pad under that knee. Walk your left foot to the left side of your mat for lizard lunge, hands to the inside of the foot. And you're very welcome to modify. Now, maybe you reach back and catch back foot for a quad stretch. You can grab the foot with the same hand or the opposite hand of the back foot. I like opposite hand, opposite foot. And then turn the gaze to the right and start to open up the left side of the neck, left side of the jaw, even the left chest. Inhale to pull the collarbones through the gates of the arms. Exhale, feel a little more space and a little more ease in your throat. And if you have the foot, gently release it, plant both hands. Exhale, tuck back toes, lift back knee. Three-legged dog, inhale, left leg rises up and back. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip, and push down into the leg. Inhale, straighten the leg back behind you, and exhale, land back in downward dog, or take a moment to flow through a vinyasa of your choice. Good meet in downward dog, couple breaths, feel the neck, maybe the two sides feel different. And then next exhale, feet to hands, step or float. Halfway lift, breathe in. Forward fold, exhale. Chair pose, bend the knees. Inhale, reach through the ears, reach through the fingers. And then exhale, stand with hands to heart. And so that's our mandala on the first side. Take a deep breath in, maybe a sigh. And then second side, let's start in chair. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Chaturanga, exhale, step or float back. Good, cobra or upward dog again, lengthening from the throat. Downward facing dog, exhale. Bring the feet to touch, and then let's take that left leg. Inhale, three-legged dog, reach left leg up and back. Exhale, step through, warrior two, for extended warrior with half prana mudra. Inhale, rise. Exhale, rest, left forearm to left thigh, back arm stays back. Next inhale, sweep the arm down to the floor, then over the ear. Exhale, bend the elbow, open the chest. Inhale, sweep the arm, reach long. Exhale, squeeze shoulder, shoulder blade, elbow into the midline. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bend the elbow, open up. Last one, maybe with a sigh. Inhale. And exhale. Now land extended warrior, reaching long. And feeling the integration, the crown of the head, the throat incorporated into the whole body pose. And then exhale into runner's lunge. Pivot the back heel, ground right palm, and twist open. Pick the placement of your throat. Feel the back, front of your neck, the sides of your neck. Release any struggle. And go for that feeling of spaciousness. Next exhale, frame out the foot, skandhasana, inhale, mindfully pop over to the back of your mat. So that's the right knee bent, left leg straight. Second side, inhale, pop it over. And chest nice and open, throat open, breathe in. Exhale, walk it into warrior two, now over the right leg facing the back of your mat. Ground the legs, inhale, rise up. Take a moment, check out your feet, and then reverse your warrior. Flip the palm, inhale, reach up and back. Stay or exhale. Take your right palm to hover about 12 inches off your right thigh for neck release. 
and really actually release your neck. How much can you let go of this area where we hold so much of our stress? Relax your gums, the root of your tongue. Relax the space behind your eyeballs and your inner ear. Inhale, take the arm back up and over at your full reverse. Exhale, warrior two. Straighten front leg for triangle. Breathe in, adjust your stance, and then climb on in. Arms open. Feel as if you're stretching your skin from the center of your breastbone across the fronts of both of your arms through your fingers. And then again, maybe play with the placement of your neck. Make sure that you can feel that your neck is integrated with the rest of your spine. Next inhale, look down. Exhale, cartwheel, hands down. Inhale, step to plank. And exhale, take a vinyasa. Lower half or all the way, then through cobra. Inhale or upward dog. And exhale, back to downward dog. Press into the hands. Feel the spine neutral and long. Deep breath in. Full breath out, and then float that left leg up. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step through, and rise, high lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, full prana mudra, bend both elbows. Take yourself through two more. Reach through the throat as you pull your chest through. Last one, maybe with a sigh, or a lion's breath even. And then interlace the hands behind the back, the non-habitual clasp of your fingers. Feel the fronts of your armpits open, squeeze shoulder blades, palms together, and then either stay in stillness or play with that very slight rotation in the neck. Inhale to turn, exhale to center, two to three times per side. And this is really just a way for you to start to sense and feel the two sides of the neck, how they feel if they're different. And then land yourself gently back into center. Release the hands. Inhale, arms sweep up, high lunge. Exhale, hands to heart. Fix your gaze and step forward. Inhale, pull that back knee up and into your chest, and we're twisting. Exhale, take left hand to outer right leg or foot and rotate open. You can choose to continue the twist through the neck, but make sure that your spine is long. Press into your standing leg and lift, lift, lift. Soften your teeth, spread your hand bones open. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, step back, crescent lunge. Arms reach up to the sky, inhale, high lunge, warrior two as you exhale. Inhale, take your arms up, straighten the leg, hands through to heart. Exhale, parallel your feet. And this time we're skipping the horse stance, coming right into forward bend. Prasarita, maybe working to catch big toes or outer feet. You can also take any other variation of prasarita that you know and love. Micro bending the knees is a great option. For me, I find that sometimes if I bend my knees, it actually lets, lets the spine relax even more. You can also deepen the stretch by pulling the shoulder blades away from the ears. All right, inhale to flat back. Exhale to runner's lunge, facing over the right foot into standing splits. Inhale, walk forward, pop up, that left leg rises. Press your right foot down into the mat, palms or fingertips down into the mat. Let the lift and the extension through the top leg relax your spine, in particular right where your top cervical vertebra connect to your skull bones. A real trouble spot for a lot of us. Inhale into the back of your neck. Look forwards, exhale, step back for lizard. Walk your right foot to the right edge of your mat. Bring your hands to the inside of your foot. Back knee can set down or stay lifted. And again, you can stay as you are or reach back and catch your back foot with either hand. Again, I recommend catching it with the right hand to left foot and then hold the pinky side of your foot and then spin your gaze down and even slightly to the left and that'll get into that right neck scalenes, pectorals, some of you may even be able to feel it down the arm. Inhale into the right side of your throat, right side of your chest, take a sigh or a flutter of your lips. This is a great place as well to slide your jaw a little. 
And then release the foot, ground the hands. Three-legged dog, inhale, right leg up and back. Bend the knee, exhale, open the hip. Inhale, straighten the leg back behind you. Exhale, back into down dog, and again, flow through a vinyasa, or simply pause in downward facing. Now, landing in down dog on your next exhale, set your knees down, sit back on your heels, and then cross your ankles out in front of you, landing in a simple cross-legged seat. Now, you can stay there or take your right leg into any hip opener of your choice. Then take your right hand out to the side, spin your fingers down, and tuck your fingers in underneath your glute for neck release. So the fingers point in towards your sit bone, and then as you exhale, release left ear towards left shoulder. Now here the arm is held in place by the weight of your pelvis, and that slight internal rotation of the shoulder opens up the scalenes in a really nice way. Feel free to do a slide of your jaw left to right or gently rotate the neck and just feel the left side of your neck, jaw, scalp. Inhale, breathe up into the side of the neck. Option to use your hand to come back up to center and then switch your sides. You're going to take your left leg either in front into cross-legged seat or on top into any other hip border opener of your choice. Left hand out to the side, spin your fingers down, and then tuck the left fingers just under your glutes slightly to pin that hand. Sit tall, inhale, and exhale, release right ear to right shoulder. Micro movements welcome, little slide of jaw, left to right, tilt of the chin. How does this side of your neck feel? Inhale, breathe up into that collarbone up into the side of the neck. Exhale, maybe add a sigh, flutter of your lips. And then slowly start to unwind. Again, you can use the right hand on the right side of the face to support your head back up to center if that's useful. Unwind the legs. And then go ahead and lay all the way down onto your back. Gather your knees into your chest. Maybe take a little rock side to side or a couple circles through the hips. Take the arms out into a T-shape. Feet planted as wide as your mat with windshield wipe. Inhale, knees release to the left. Gaze to the right. Exhale to center. Inhale, knees to the right. Gaze to the left. And exhale, center. So with the breath, inhale, knees release to one side, gaze the other way. Exhale to center. Do that a few times on your own. Just sort of uptaking that sweet rotation through the spine. And then gently release, finish up, and extend all the way out into final rest. Arms extend straight, legs extend straight. Take a deep breath in, up into chest, collarbones, throat, jaw, and a sigh. And one more like that. Deep inhale, breathe all the way up. Touch your throat, your neck with your breath, and exhale, take a sigh. And release, my friends, total rest. Start to draw your attention back inside your body. 
Feel your throat, your neck. Maybe a simple sense of built and increased awareness there, more tingling or warmth. And start to move the body, wiggle fingers and toes, maybe stretch the arms overhead. And as you exhale, gather your knees into your chest and roll all the way over onto your right side. Use the support of your hands, press into the mat, sit upright, and land in seated for one final moment. Ground the sit bones, lift up through the whole of your spine, and just feel for a final moment the effects of your practice. Bring your hands to your heart. Last breath together. Deep inhale. With a sigh. Thank you all so very much for letting me guide you today. I so appreciate it, and I hope your neck feels amazing. Namaste.